Hey, hey, everybody, this is Larry. This is me going with Q3 of the Weekly Contest 361, Kang of Interesting Subways. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Let me know what you think about this farm. So, um, first of all, when you see subways and you have to f try to find the Kang of subways, um, the first thing that I try to think about is, there are a couple of ways to think about it, uh, of course, but the way that I initially think about it, why is this so fun and so small? Um, the way that I think about it is just by, you know, there are a couple of ways, and this isn't always the, the case, but given in, in a way, I I would try to find, um, like, for each digit, like, um, you know, for, for three, I go, okay, how many interesting subways ends at three, right? And for one, how many sub... Uh, how many interesting subways ends at one, nine, and six, or four, right? And that that means, yeah. And basically, in a way, it means how many. Yeah, and that's basically the the um the idea, right? And it's not that easy always to execute. Of course, it's sometimes very tricky. Like this particular example, for example, uh, this, this particular problem, for example, but. But yeah, but that's basically the idea. And this problem, to be honest, is very hard to read with his modulo and K and cal and num sub i and stuff like this, right? So the way that I would simplify first is that the actual numbers and nums don't matter. It's just whether they satisfy the condition. So in that way, you can convert it to a, a, a binary array. And then now you don't have to worry about... Uh, I mean, now this is just a binary array, right? And I'm just going to write it without the comma and stuff like this. I could just bang on the keyboard a little bit. Something like this, right? So now you have this thing. So then the question is, and we have to kind of keep track of, of the count. So as soon as I, uh, you see that you have to keep track of the count of the subarray, well, now you can answer uh, the question. Um, you know, basically we're saying... Yeah, let's say let's say we're up to here in the last element. Then now we're saying, okay, for which prefixes? Eh, this is hard to draw. For which prefixes are there going to be a satisfy a factory, right? And in, in this particular problem versus the other problems, um, you're trying to get the the lengths in which this is the case, right? So, um, and for this one, there's this like weird modular and k dynamic, right? Um, so, for example, uh, maybe for... Eh, this is a bad example. Uh, okay, but we'll, we'll start with this one first because it's a little bit easier. But for module is equal to 3k is equal to 0, then you're basically saying you, you want sum of um, ones is equal to 3 or 6 or 9 or I guess 0, technically. Uh, 12, dot, 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 right? And you see a pattern there. If, let's say you want... The same thing, maybe I'm just going to play around with a different number, let's say 5 in case you go to 2. Then you want the sum of 1s to be equal to 2, 7, 12, 17, dot, dot, dot. So you can't get the pattern here, um, right? So the first thing that, I say the first a lot, but the next thing I suppose that you're trying to do then here, as you notice this, is that you're trying to get a prefix sum. Um, the way the reason why we get we, you want to do a prefix sum is that it just makes it easier to do lookup queries um, because basically the idea behind prefix sum I'll go for, go over this really quickly is that let's say we have you know so the prefix sum we have, let's say prefix of uh, some index uh, x right it's just equal to sum of um, uh, uh, you know let's say some function of x plus function of x plus uh, minus 1, sorry, plus minus 2 plus dot 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 f of uh, ooh, f of 1, right? Something like this. Um, and so, if you want to say get the the count of numbers from from uh, p of, uh, uh, you know, you want to get the count of x, y uh, from x to y, or sum of count or something like this, right? Then now, p, then all you have to do is just get p of y. It's going to look like something like this. And let's say uh, y is greater than x, or equal to, if you want to be precise, right? Uh, plus f, plus, well, uh, plus x, right? Uh, or we could even write it out a little bit more.
right? Something like that. So that's how your prefix sum goes. And the short story, of course, is just that if you rewrite p sub x here, or uh, let's just write p of x minus one to be more precise, right? Then now you have is so, you go to this thing, right? And if you subtract the two, then p of y minus p of x minus 1 is equal to basically this chunk because everything else cancels out. So then now you have this, which is by definition the sum of count from x to y. So this is the prefix sum. It's a really quick overview, so if you have to rewatch it or slow it down or whatever. Um, but yeah, so you have to kind of know this to, to uh, check. So yeah. Um, whew. yeah, so basically now, what are we asking, right? So let's say, uh, so this is the general idea behind, uh, sorry, I have to take a breath, uh, the sum of count between x to y. So then for this particular problem, we're saying, okay, uh, let, let's take a look at this one because it's a little bit straightforward, right? So let's say this, right? And we're given y. Uh, so we, we, we're given y because we're up to y in the index. You know, th that's just what we're up to, right? So this is y. This is y, right? Tell me why. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> uh, so given y, we can, well, look up p of y pretty quickly um, because we already did the math. We, we did prefix sum. We already did it, right? So this is the count. So then now we're trying to find number of x's such that p sub x, or, and maybe you could say x minus 1 or something like this, is, either way is fine. So we're trying to find this where, uh, such that, uh, yeah, number of x's such that p of y minus x, um, if this, uh, and this part, right, is equal to k mod, well, let's just call this m, because K mod modulo is a little bit weird, right? Um, yeah, right? Make it uppercase. So that's basically what we're trying to do. And so here, uh, and of course, if this is the case, uh, I mean, I, I, this is actually the wrong notation. I think this is technically this under M or something. Uh, so, th so basically, this is, uh, you go this under the mod, mod space of m uh, so this is that's more precise so may uh so another way to say that is that this is the case um i, I kind of it's a little bit inaccuracy my apologies uh because i'm doing ascii art here instead of maybe maybe i should do it i don't know it's too late but so basically we're trying to find the number of x such that this is the case um we can you know uh move some basic geometry around we can minus k on both sides so we have you know, minus k. And of course, there is some, eh, you know, uh, in some languages, even though technically whatever, uh, if you're talking about equivalent classes, um, right? If you're talking about equivalent classes, then, um, then and, you know, you have to add, add m to this or something like this in case it goes one or whatever, right? Like, there's some things you have to do, but, but, you know, bear in mind that, you know, the negative things and they're all equivalent classes and stuff like this. I'm hand wavy a little bit here, but that, that's going to be the idea, right? So you, you add P sub X on both sides, you minus K on both sides, and then now, well, what happens, right? Well, we know what K is, we know this number, and so all we have to do is find the count that this is true, and so we just have to store it as we go. Uh, so that's basically the, the principle behind this problem. Uh, even given that, this is not super easy to implement correctly, but yeah, but this is going to be my code. So I, I, as I said, first of all, I, I did the prefix sum like this. Uh, I just kind of, you know, this returns a 1 or a 0 if it is equal to this binary thing. So we kind of convert this to the binary array. And then we also add it to the previous number to make it a prefix sum. And then after that, we, um, yeah, this is basically, this is the formula uh, of, you know, for every x, this is the, 
the 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 wording is a little bit weird. X is the prefix sum, so which is so this X is equal to this P sub Y, right? So this is basically the same over mod. Um, in Python, keeping in mind that mod of a negative number actually goes from zero to uh, mod minus one, so this wraps around okay. Um, and then this is the frequency number, and then this, and then after that, you set it up so that this count can be used in the future for lookup. Um, so that's basically it. That's the idea. That's the whole thing. And yeah, so what's the complexity here? I think this is actually a pretty straightforward complexity. Uh, in terms of space and time, this is O of N space. This is O of, um, o of, o of M time, where M is the modular as a reminder. So this is O of M N plus M space, but O of N time in both cases, right? Because, you know. This is of n time. This is of n time. There's only n pre plus one prefixes. Um, so yeah, that's all I have for this one. Let me know what you think. Let me know if you have any questions. Definitely ask in the, in the comments and in the uh, in the Discord. I'll try to get to it, you know, when I can. Uh, but yeah, that's it. Stay good and yeah, and you can watch me solve it live during the contest now. Uh, Selling mistake on key. Count the number of subways that are interesting. Number of indexes i such that numbers of i mod modulo zero k. Then. Number, uh, okay, this is kind of hard to understand, but okay. Count is equal to one, and one mod two is equal. Why would you use the module in two ways like this? It's so confusing to understand. Okay, fine. Um, let's see. Sub arrays, sub arrays, ten to the fifth. Okay. It's just such a weird kind of. That look like so that's just zero zero one uh, one one two three so then now what So basically now <coughs> are we supposed to return the model of now just fine for X and prefix um <coughs> I think maybe that's technically true. Maybe I'm off by one. I don't know. What is count? What am I doing?
No, what am I doing? Uh, why did I confuse myself? All right, um, X. So then now, so this is a sum. Um, X mod modulo is what we want. Oh no. We want X mod modulo is equal to K. All right, wait, what, what does that mean? A little bit awkward, but okay. Basically, so that means if if <clears throat> that means we want one, and so then now we want x modulo. What do we want? Let's see. Yeah. Yeah, this is so hard to visualize for me. One, one, two, zero, one, one, two for the first one. So then now, if the sub arrays store, we got one. Okay, so we got one. So then now we want one. So then that's what we do. We still want one, okay. And then two. Oh, I, I messed this up, so I guess that's true. It's still one, okay. I guess that's fine. So one, two, right? And on the next one, we have one, one, two, three. So then now we want. Mm, this is so easy to make off by one, I think. I mean, I think my idea is right, and it's just so hard to do it correctly. Um, okay, so we have this thing. So let's say this is one, and we're looking for one. We need to get k in here somehow. So it's x minus k, I think. <coughs> Right, so and then f what is this? And then f of x mm, something like this. Um but clearly this is wrong. Maybe I don't do this, is that true? But I, I mean, this is right, but I don't know that this is just lucky. It's way really easier to mess up here. Oh, X increased to zero for whatever reason, that's why. But, hmm. Well, this will always be zero, so that's fine. Is this right? I think this is just lucky. Am I going to eat five minutes or should I just I already have a penalty. Um twenty one, is that right? And that's just This part is the sketchy part. I don't know that that's right. Yeah, let's give it some minute. I, I'm not confident at all, to be honest. Okay, well, I guess I don't need to be that. Yeah, thanks for watching. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me in Discord. Let me know what you think about this contest. Uh, yeah, stay good, stay healthy to good mental health. I'll see y'all later and take care. Bye-bye.